Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, uh, today in this uh, video, I am going to record the lab related to AG900 as your fundamental. So, in this series, uh, we have almost of uh, 20 to 21 uh, lab and uh, this labs will definitely help you learn AZ900 more, more better and uh, also uh, it will help you enhance your uh, as your as your related or cloud related knowledge and uh, stay tuned in our first lab of this uh, AZ900 series uh, we are going to see how we deploy create a virtual machine and uh, then how we actually connect with our virtual machine connect to virtual machines and then how we deploy web server in the virtual machine install web server so these are the three tasks that we will complete in our first lab so stay tuned and guys uh, remember that before you can perform this lab you need uh, an active as your subscription so this is mandatory thing that you need to keep ready with you so first of all log into your portal.azure.com portal.azure.com and once you log in make sure you see your account here now first of all you see you have uh, I have logged into the Azure and here in the search box just type VM and you see this virtual machine click on the virtual machine and here you can see we have create option let's go with the first option as your virtual machine first of all select your subscriptions tab you need to create a resource group if you don't have resource group create a new one or if you have existing one select the existing resource group specify a name for your virtual machine so i am going with the vm1 select your region where you want to deploy your virtual machine so by default i am going with the central central india so do you want any kind of availability options or not as you can see that we have the uh, availability zone we have virtual machine scale set or we have availability set so based on your requirement you select the one but since this is the test environment I am going with the none okay because uh, if we select uh, the others other availability option it will increase the cost of our VM so now security options you know, which one you want so we are going with the standard one select your image type uh, if the image is not listed here you can see all image here and uh, select the image type you want and if the intended uh, is not listed here you can click here to see all your images and these images we get it from the marketplace thank you now let's go back scroll down and here you can see the size here you can see the size 
so which size do you want you can select the size you want okay so i am going with the minimal one and uh, i i don't want hibernation so here you need to define a username uh, and uh, remember not to forget uh, this username now specify a password password length must be or greater than equal to 12 character make sure your password and confirm password both matches and here you can see that which port you want to access so currently i am going with both http and rdp now click on next so here you can see your disk information if you want to if you want to add, create a create and attach a new uh, disk you can do it from here or if you have existing hard disk you can attach it from here also okay so may, depending on your requirement depending on your requirement you need to select your disk informations now i'm going with the networking as part of this one you can see that there is a virtual network okay which is the name, name has been given by default but if you want you can define your own name also and uh, subnet it has pulled one and you can see that public ip address it has also uh, used a default name but if you want you can create your public also public network also so you, here you can define your pub, uh, public ip name and you can select your SKUs, static do you want a static assignment or uh, whatever so you can select your basic information and you can see here network security group NSG so we are going with the basic one so if you want you can disable it or you can go with the, some advanced settings now do you want load balancer so currently we don't need a load balancer so that's why we, we are going with the default one and you can see that delete public IP address and uh, NIC when VM is deleted select this option okay so go to the management and do you want to use your system manage key or identity or not or this, there are or you want uh, other settings do you want auto shutdown if you want you can define your timing do you want to enable backup so we will discuss about this one later on say monitoring so boot diagnostic i don't want right now okay so i disable this one do you want to enable alerts if you want you can define you can define your alert rules okay so currently i don't want so i disable that one now if you want to monitor your health application health, you can also enable this one go to next and extensions if you want you can add your extensions right from your you can uh, add your uh, scripts you can define your script so at the time of the deployment the script will also run and will install the your uh, intended uh, rows features or any applications you have go to the tagging so if you want you can define your tag also right now we are not working with tag so just say create so validation test as you can see has passed so we didn't make any mistake to define the settings 
Now deployment is in progress as you can see. It will take uh, one to two minutes or maybe less than uh, equal to five minutes. Though it takes less than that time. So meanwhile, I'm just uh, pausing the video so that uh, So as you can see that uh, deployment is uh, completed. So I just paused the video already because uh, just to save some time. Okay. And uh, keep the video shorter. Now. So if I click on the go to resource. As you can see that uh, my VM name is here. And uh, resource group is test one and the status of the virtual machine is running and location you can see and here you can see that we have the public IP address okay click on the public IP address copy it and open remote management remote desktop connection and paste your public IP over here and say connect Enter the username that you have actually defined at the time of creating your virtual machine. Say OK. guys I'm just going to copy my IP and going to remote I have changed the user there was a problem with the IP, uh, password I was using a password which was already blocked by Microsoft I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There is a, something wrong. There's something wrong with my connection, not with the Sorry guys, so now you can see that I have successfully logged into my virtual machine. So this is my virtual machine as you can see. Now so if you want to install the clothes. Just wait, it's preparing. Now 
say next so we are going to install role based installations and scroll down and you can see here IIS add feature then say next 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 go with the default selections and click on install or alternatively what can you do is what can you do is you can simply You can simply open PowerShell here okay. and once the PowerShell fully loaded, okay, just in type the command install hyphen Windows feature hyphen name and uh, web web server and include all sub features include management tool and hyphen restart if required you can just simply press enter so either you can graphically install these features or this room or you can use the power cell to perform the same task so if you run if you perform it using powershell it will be quite faster than gui now 35% has been completed so far Eight percent, as you can see, guys. We are installing this role inside the virtual machine. Okay, remember that. As you can see here, my IP address of the vir my virtual machines that we have deployed uh, on Azure. Okay, and we have connected through the remote desktop connections. Seventy-five percent has been completed so far. As you, can, as you can see that uh, success true restart not required and uh, success and it has installed the required required features also and if I graphically go and uh, show you my server manager I say cancel and uh, I say refresh this screen Now you can see that IIS has been installed, okay, which was not there before. And uh, even if you see here under the roles and the servers group, IIS is installed, okay. Now, since my IIS has been installed successfully, I just copy this one, this IP, and uh, 
I am going to from my physical machine from my physical machine I am going to access this one It is going for HTTPS as you can see but I need HTTP because we have opened the continue to this site and there you go so this is how we deploy our web server now if you have your web page or other things you can simply uh, connect them Okay, you can host them on your web server. Now, guys, uh, to avoid any kind of uh, cost, after you after you perform your lab successfully, please remove all your resources. So, first of all, go to the resource group and find your resource group and go to the resource group and you see here delete resource group copy the res copy this resource group from here the name and paste it here and select this option apply force delete for all selected virtual machines delete done and network watcher rg this is the default default resource group which is created at the time of creating your virtual network so delete that one also so it will actually clean up all your resources and will help you save your cost also now we have already executed the command and you can see it is there so let it get uh, um, completed no issue so guys thank you for watching my video i hope uh, this uh, lab will help you learn a lot of things if you face any challenges uh, performing the lab please follow this uh, follow the uh, steps and uh, follow this uh, video which will help you learn a lot and uh, if you have not uh, subscribed my channel requesting you to please subscribe my channel and stay tuned stay updated thank you see you in my next lab bye bye